Hey guys, Retro John here, and today I'm going to go over the new Nintendo released Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Champions Amiibos. Ah, uh, let's get to it. Welcome to Come Again. Here's the story with these amiibos. These amiibos, these amiibos were announced um, about, uh, I think, I believe about three, four months back uh, for pre-order. They went really quick. I didn't get a chance to pre-order these, so I had to kind of take my chance in hopes I could find them in store or online. I got lucky. I got lucky with these. I actually found three out of the four champion amiibos at Target, and I was able to order the fourth one on Walmart.com and had it sent to the store which I just picked up, and I wanted all four of them before I did my review, so here we go. So not in, those not in the know, uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game is on the Switch. It came out uh, in March, uh, March 3rd of this year. I know this because I was in the hospital when the day it came out. Uh, I was lucky enough to pre-order mine. My girlfriend got it for me. So I've had my Switch since the very beginning. I've been playing Zelda from the very beginning. I absolutely love the game. If you hadn't had a chance to play it, I highly suggest you do so. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. And I very rarely say that about a game, but it really is like you're playing inside of a painting. It's just beautiful to watch, look at. You can go on top of the mountains or the towers and just look out. It's wonderful. Uh, and it's a huge game. It's huge. It's about as big, if not a little bigger, maybe than Skyrim, I think. That's from what I'm told. I haven't gone all the way through Skyrim yet, so I can't really com make that comparison for sure. But from what I'm told, it's actually bigger than Skyrim. Uh, now, the story with the champions. Uh, the champions are characters uh, who are um, possessed and in possession. They're, they're locked away in, in, in possession. That They're locked away, and these possessed, uh, like, giant robots. Uh, on, uh, animals that are supposed to be there to protect uh, certain regions of the world. Uh, there's an elephant who's supposed to protect the water world. There's a camel who's supposed to protect the more uh, desert world. There's uh, an iguana for the heat, for the more hot terrain area. And then there's a bird for the sky people, bird people. And you you have to go on. These are essentially the dungeons. You ha and you have to defeat these, release the champion spirit uh, within, and they will in fact help you defeat Ganon at the end of the game. I have gone through and I have beaten. I have beaten. Shannon, by the way, this is you. <laughs> you can edit this out, but this is you who just messaged me. Cool. Alright, I just silenced you. You're interrupting my review. Bad Shannon. That's awesome. I have to check a look at that. Okay. Edit all that out. Back. Okay. Um, I have uh, beaten the four champions. And when you release them, they get released and help you defeat Ganon at the end of the, at the, end of the game. Now, when I say help you defeat the Ganon, I mean, I, I faced Ganon once. I haven't beaten Ganon. I haven't beaten the game. There's other things I wanted to do. I just happened to accidentally come across to where Ganon is at. And then I, I, I guess I um, activated the boss boss battle and said, ah, well, screw it. I'll give it a shot. And I'll tell you, I came close. I came close. And what ha I, I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, the Guardians do help, actually help you. And they don't, I don't, they don't take your kill, to my knowledge. Like, I don't, haven't killed him yet, but, uh, but it's a really cool game. It's, it's, a, it's awesome. It's very well done. I highly suggest you do so. Uh, play it. <coughs> now, long way to get to this. Um, five minutes actually. Um, uh, to um, Nintendo announced that they're releasing. Amiibos. So let's go ahead and take a look at these right now. And I'm going to say right now that these are probably the most well-sculpted, well-painted 
beautiful amiibos. I'm using that term a lot with these, but I mean, Breath of the Wild in general is beautiful, and it's nice that that comes across in these amiibos. Uh, first off, we have Mifa, who is from. There we go. The game. She is one of the champions. She is in the um, the elephant. She kind of plays. Well, I can't. I'm not going to go into any story or spoilers. But she's a, she's a very lead character. And as you can see, the packaging on the back shows one of the weapons. I'm flipping everybody off. Well, it's my longest finger. I got stubby fingers. One of the weapons that you can get when you use the amiibo in the game. And you have the elephant right there that she she's in. So, and again, and there's another picture of the artwork that's on front. It's more of a body view there. It shows you how to use your amiibo. Uh, and this is just, I mean, look at look at, look at the art and everything. It's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, piece of work here. I'm going to be really sad to open this up to take a closer look. But I'm going to go over all the packages and everything first. Uh, next we have Daruk. Now, Daruk was the fourth one that I had to get. Um, I managed to find all of these in store. I didn't make the pre uh, the pre order. They sold out of the pre order before I had a chance. Um, I found uh, three out of the four at Target, and I had to order this guy from Walmart.com and have it sent to the store. So I literally, like maybe 30 minutes ago, picked him up from there and decided to go ahead and review them all. So here's Daruk. Uh, wonderfully, wonderfully crafted. I mean, you can. Ah, I hate camera work. The figure inside. We're going to take an even closer look out of the package. But again, you got the same wonderful artwork, the logo right there. And again, I'm not sure where this glare is coming from. I've been having this issue no matter if I use my uh, laptop, if I use my phone, if I use my, um, uh, my other laptop. Uh, I've been having really bad glares for some reason. I'm not sure why. So I apologize. Uh, and then on the back, same thing. We have another picture of Darut there. We have the weapon you can get, possibly get with him. And of course, yeah, the lizard that he's in, possessed. So, next we have Rivali. So, and he, of course, he's a bird guy. So, what champion is he going to possess is but the bird. I get, Again, wonderful artwork. Again, we got the logo, the name. I'm um, pointing out we have the Nintendo and Amiibo and all these. Uh, the back. We've got another picture here. We've got the bird and the weapon that you could possibly get with him. So there we go. And last, Urbosa. Uh, this is definitely one of... This is, this is pretty cool. I love the artwork on this. I love the artwork on all these. I really don't want to open, break these and chance ripping them. Uh, probably going to take my time opening these because I really want to try saving them. So, but yeah, again, like all of them, showcases uh, the figure within. Perfect. Big. It's there. Uh, got the logo, the name of the character. In the back, we got more artwork with the character. And then, of course... The objects you can get, which this one looks like a special shield and sword. And got the picture of the camel that she possesses. So, these are all really cool. The packaging is really cool. I love them. Uh, I don't really want to tear these up, but I plan on using these. I'm putting these with the rest of my Zelda Amiibos. So, let's go ahead and bust this thing open. Okay, so, we have all of these opened. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at them individually. First off, we're going to do uh, Mifa. Now, this is just a beautiful, oops, a beautiful figure right here. Um, the paint on this is just downright gorgeous. Uh, all the golds, the blues. The sculpt is just wonderful on this figure. Um, I wish I had a little turntable. Uh, so.
So, and I apologize in advance. Um, the table I would normally be displaying these all on, um, it's kind of broke. So, hence why the reviews are like this right now. But uh, we have a nice little stand here to keep the figure from toppling over off the stand, which I've never had that problem. She's pretty sturdy. Uh, the weapon is, she holds is a pretty hard plastic, so it's not going to, you know, it's not going to warp or anything. And yeah, it's just very highly detailed. We got the little change right here on her neck, medallions, so just a beautiful figure all around. Uh, whether you're a Zelda fan and you actually play the game, or you just like to collect the amiibos, uh, this, these are really awesome to just have and display on your shelf if you're not going to actually use them. So next up, we've got Darok. Now this guy is just amazing, and he is pretty heavy. He's got some weight to him. Um, I say he's probably the second heaviest uh, Zelda amiibo. And obviously next to the Guardian Amiibo, which to me is still the best Amiibo they've, they've produced, simply because he's an articulated Amiibo. Uh, and that's, I think, something that um, these could really benefit from. I think it would be great if these were articulated. So if you didn't want to use them, you want to display them on your shelf, then you could um, do so in any kind of a pose. But, I mean, still, as a, like a little mini statue, these things are still pretty cool, even if you don't use them for the games. So, here we have uh, some great sculpting. I mean, you can look at his mouth and tell that that goes back pretty far. <laughs> so, and the sculpt on this is great. We have here, it's a separate piece, but it's glued on there. So, you can't really, I mean, it's glued really, really good. It's not moving. So, um, I don't think, it, like I said, it's not part of the sculpt. You can see it's got space in between. So, down to the back, you can really see, like, air, space in between. See? My finger. So, it's, it's, not, it's a separate piece, and it's glued on there. But it's still really, really cool, and you can really see uh, the details. I mean, there's no paint slops. Um, it's really well done. You got the little, his logo there, that's his, uh, champion robot that he's in. Uh, he's very, very excited. <laughs> Ready to fight. Uh, the details on his sword are just incredible. The, the sculpting, the painting, here we just do that. Yeah, just the, this is just a wonderful, wonderful figure. Um, and I mean, if this is something that if even if I didn't intended to use them, and originally when I was started to buy the Zelda amiibos, I wasn't intending on using them. I didn't really have any games to use them with until a Breath of the Wild came out. Uh, so at that point, I, I decided to go ahead and open them up and use them. Alright, so this is Rivali. And this is, uh, again, this is a wonderfully sculpted, wonderful painted amiibo for the Zelda line. You see, he's got that kind of a cocky, pardon the pun, cocky, he's a bird, uh, but kind of cocky, he's full of himself, demeanor. Uh, he is that character in the game, so it's perfectly represented in this amiibo here. He, he has his bow of choice. Got the little uh, ankle bracelets. Ankle bracelets here, right there. Beautiful, beautifully painted, and it does. I think it does actually come through as a metallic green. So we can turn him out this way. These guys. Wonderfully sculpted, and again he has this 
a little extra support back here. <laughs> Turn this way. <laughs> and support. Not that I've really ever had any issues with them wanting to come apart. So, really, really just an amazing amiibo here. So, and again, this one, this next one, um, Herbosa, wonderfully sculpted and beautifully painted. Um, a lot of metallics on this one. Uh, mostly like uh, metallic green and every, uh, and uh, gold and just wonderful. And I have have a few paint splotches on this one, but nothing too serious. And I'll point those out to you. There she is, looking very powerful, very ready to, you know, and the paint blotches will be right, as you can see, right in these areas here, the gold kind of. But still, I mean, it's hardly even noticeable. I only noticed because I was looking for them. And her weapon here, hers is more of a flexible, almost gummy-like plastic. So uh, that, depending on how you have them stored, may end up warping. So that kind of worries me a little bit. And the different colors here on her top, her top are just gorgeous. The golds. Very shiny, very metallic. And when I was talking about met different metallic colors, look at her shield. You can tell, especially by the clairs, there's some metallic blues in there, some metallic reds, the greens. Just wonderful colors and color schemes. Of course, she's being held up by the base, which we can see is going up the skirt. There might be a reason why she's so happy. So, so there you go. Uh, these are some of the most beautifully sculpted um, amiibos and very well painted amiibos that uh, I have seen to date. Uh, Nintendo definitely uh, took their time and attention to detail to these amiibos. Uh, I'm very happy to add these to my collect, to my Zelda collection, uh, and my Zelda Amiibo collection. Uh, I haven't used these yet, as I just opened them now, but uh, I can't wait to use them. And yeah, so there you go. The new Zelda, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Champion Amiibos, they're hitting the sturdy in stores. Uh, they are rather hard to find, especially if you hadn't pre-ordered them. Again, I got lucky um, finding the three at Target and then one online. Uh, I, when I went to Walmart.com to look for um, this guy here, he was the only one available. So I was really surprised I actually got him. Uh, I did go into my local GameStop. They, were, they did have about three or four of each character. That was this past weekend. So I haven't been back in there since. I don't know if they're sold out yet. Uh, I know she was hesitant on holding any for me. Because they're so in high demand. Uh, so I told her not to worry about it. I already had them. Because with these I think I was going to buy two. Uh, for display and then keep in the package. But I didn't need to. Let somebody else who doesn't have them get them. You know. But yeah, these are just wonderful. They're very hard to find, but they are hitting the stores now. Uh, uh, Walmart.com. My Walmart stopped selling Amiibos, so I had to go online on their site to find them. Target is where I found them on the shelf. They only had one of each. Of the, uh, they only had one of the three that I found. They didn't have this guy. I uh, haven't looked on their website. I don't know if Toys R Us has any, but like I said, my GameStop has had them in so there you go check them out uh they're really awesome for display they're awesome to use uh i have, don't have really too many complaints other than uh the little paints paints paint paint 
splotches here on uh, my uh, herbosa. Um, again, this is just a small little thing. I do still think that all the amiibos could benefit from some type of an articulation, whether it's arm articulation, waist articulation, head articulation, uh, depending on what the sculpt they want to use. Uh, that that's one of the reasons why my favorite uh, Zelda amiibo, and probably my favorite amiibo in general, is the uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Guardian amiibo, which is the first and only large amiibo that they've made so far. And that's because it does have articulation in its arms. You can actually move the arms around like a bendy wire, and you can move and position the arms any way you want. The only articulation, but it's still something extra. Of course, it's also one of the most pricier of the ones. I think instead of fifteen ninety nine, I think it's like twenty four, twenty five ninety nine. Uh, and you can still find them. Actually, I've been finding the old Breath of the Wild uh, amiibos more often now. So uh, I say take a look. If you could find these, grab them. I think they're really cool. I can't wait to see what weapons uh, items I get from these. So. Until next time, please make sure if you like this video to like it on the page. Comment below. Let me know what your favorite is Zelda Amiibo. What's your favorite Amiibo? Put that down in the comments. Let me know. Make sure you subscribe uh, to make sure that you get all of the great Comic Game TV goodness that we offer. Until next time, I'm Retro John. Take care.